Star Horse! Star Horse Revenge of the Mouse is a full feature-length movie set in the same setting as our Star Wars review openers. And since Head Under Productions is free from corporate shackles, we get to do whatever we want. So it features its full original story, an entirely new cast of characters, and a new and much more expensive Aluminum Falcon. And please note, I did say entire new cast of characters. This is where you guys come in. We need voices! Among other things. Below in the video description is a text document of all the more major roles that we're looking for. There are minor roles that I'll get into here in a second, but the more major stuff comes first. For starters, getting the most annoying one out of the way, we need someone who can speak Japanese. Twilight is an X-Wing pilot in this movie and she only speaks Japanese. It's a joke on how Star Wars characters won't speak English, but everyone can understand them. <laughs> We need a Lyra because our sound bank for her isn't gonna cut it and we're looking for someone who's at least a little bit similar to how she was in our Star Wars Rise of Skywalker review. I'm getting a god complex and I like it! I am the Alpha and the Omega! And we need an Octavia and at this point we're just looking for a female who could put on a British accent or someone with a British accent. At this point, we're not picky. This one has been pretty damn hard to find. We need a Commander Horsey time, which is really just Princess Celestia with a hat on. We're looking for your best Arlie Ermy impression on this one. I'll bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. There are other roles we need, but the text document down in the description below has more details on that. There are also a bunch of minor roles that we need, like Stormtroopers, which doesn't even require a good mic if you want to be a Stormtrooper, because we're going to put a voice filter over it anyway. We also need some Imperial Officers, which do require a good mic. The bad mic stuff also goes for anyone wearing a helmet, such as TIE Pilots, and especially Death Troopers. Now, Death Troopers, we want you to put on your best Combine impression, and also, try to make yourself sound like an asshole, because we're making these guys assholes. Someone ought to put you in a mental hospital. Someone should put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma! And we even have roles that are even more minor than this, like one or two lines, maybe three. For this, just send in a 10-second clip of your voice and we'll pick through those. Outside the realm of voice actors, we actually need a vector artist to create a new horse. I can't tell you which horse until we actually find an artist, and even then, we're not going public with the information until maybe even when the movie's out, honestly. It's a big secret character. We cannot reveal the secret character. All these positions and more are now open. More information is in the document down in the description below. And I still don't know how to end these videos, so... Yeah, we're done. We're done here. Have I got a sandwich?